God be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. But was offered something that she had not had before. She knew what was in that way. Yes, sir. But she did not know what Christ was offering her. But what he offered her was so tempting that she desired it. Even to the point to where she asked for it instead and believed what he said that she will never thirst again. So she understood, I don't never have to come. <laughs> And pull from this oil again. Let me, let me tell you something. I got some somewhere better for you than civil rights. And it, it, it yeah. goes so far beyond civil rights. It's ridiculous. I got something so better, much better for you than a job. You, you understand what I'm saying? And this is true that we have free. It's civil rights. You got to be for you. Who can be against you? I don't want to tell you that we're all right. I don't know. No. Oh, that's a bit funny, folks. Is it a bit funny, folks? Is messed up again while you talking? What? 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 Uh, One second, I'm almost there. Let me scare. I'm gonna bring it down to 24. I had it down up there. There it is. Yeah, this is it right here, official. <laughs> okay, so so. He, he's he's trying to talk. He's trying to get this woman to say, "Okay, look, uh, the kingdom is, is 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 does not have a physical location." Yes, sir. Come on. <laughs> the, the kingdom does not have. It is not just for the Jews only. So it's not a physical location. It's not for certain people. It's an inward thing. It's spiritual. Yes, sir. Now, it's, it's amazing because there are a lot of things that Jesus does in this verse. See, he's trying to get people to see he's lost. lost. Everybody who's lost has a need. Yes. So, see, come to the well because he has a need for water. Uh -huh. But what Jesus is trying to teach her is you don't realize you came to today, a well showed up at the well. <laughs> <laughs> see, see. You you came to a well for physical water. Yes, sir. You didn't know that there was gonna be another well and the well that could give you life so that you don't have to come here to do it. Yes, sir. So Jesus said, now I'm a well. Uh -huh. And I can give you water. She, she kept it. She kept music. I said, you ain't got nothing to draw with. Yeah. So I ain't come out the water. <laughs> <laughs> I got some water. <laughs> I'm God's source. And so if you go back to Isaiah. The other verse I sent a chat on is Isaiah chapter 50. Yeah, one second, I'll bring it back up. Where God is talking to Isaiah about himself as the almighty powerful source to be able to do whatever is necessary to fulfill his will. Amen. He said, if it's, if it's necessary, I can dry up the rivers if I have to. <laughs> I can turn back around and turn the clouds so black and sackcloth that it'll pour out a flood. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Isaiah 50. <laughs> and in verse 4, in verse 4, you see Jesus doing what Isaiah prophesied he would do. In Isaiah chapter 50, verse 4, he said, The Lord has given me the tongue of the learned, that I should know how to speak a word in season to him. You see, the Spirit of God has, has tuned him in and conditioned him to so trust in God. That he can discern what this woman need him. This is good right here. <laughs> so that he can bring her out of her lostness into her foundness. 
What she needed was physical water yes. on a physical plane. Yes. But her real need, her, her eternal need, is that she needs the water of life. And Jesus had been prepared and equipped by the Father to be able to go in there and maneuver that thing and bring her right to the plane. And he led her to the water. Yes, sir. And, and listen, anybody in their right mind who's been made ready, you don't have to try to force them to drink because see, we ain't got power to make folks drink. Come on now, come on. It's good to lead them. Woo. That was good. Yeah. In other words, it that was good work. It, see, <laughs> bro, I think that goes back to it doesn't matter in Christ whether they are black Jews, Hebrews, or whatever, but it does matter that we reach them to let them know that they have a living legacy opposed to a dead legacy not a historical issue you see what i'm saying it's not right because that's that's even in the past isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not and, and you know another thing i like about you know that one scripture that said when we talk about searching for an identity well how about the one the scripture said we, we're we're chosen people we're peculiar people but we, the we're called out of doctors huh the one scripture that comes to mind also is the one we've gone over several times is that he is not a Jew that's of, I mean, it's not a seed of Abraham that's of Abraham. Uh -huh. He has to be spiritually of Abraham to be truly the seed of Abraham. Yes, sir. But so it wasn't them that were just born biologically to Abraham that were Abraham's seed. Woo. It's those who are born to him spiritually. Yes, so sir. So if, if, they, if they are proclaim only their, their biological birth, then they're still not in the house. And I think we've been we're saying that you still got to get saved. The Jews have to get saved. You have to accept the Lord Jesus Christ as, as Lord in order to be brought in too. So, so there's nothing to really be gained by identifying yourself as a Hebrew. I won't fight you over that. And I'll listen to the conversation. But at the end of the day, I still got to bring you back around to the door. And the door you. is the Lord Jesus Christ. Right. In other words, they're drawing, they're drawing an identity of, 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 of the flesh. Right. While you're saying, it's almost like that woman. The woman had water natural water yeah. and, and i'm gonna show you yeah. spiritual water yeah. Yeah. so yeah. so if somebody say i'm a, I'm a hebrew <laughs> identity is no longer black but identity a location you say well look i got a better location right. i got a place that the need to be born again you know, that's part of the, the, the kingdom. You know, preaching of the kingdom is you must be born again, is what Jesus said. Yes, sir. And the very thing that sustains you in the flesh Woo. will not sustain you in the spirit. Whoa. So the word says that the, uh, man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes out of the mouth of God. Yes, so sir. there's a whole different lifestyle, a whole different sustenance that we must feed on in order to, you know, really realize our position and our person in the kingdom of God. And this is what we're inviting them into a place that's so much better than what they are. Ooh. Into a system that's so much better than the system that they've experienced at this point. Yeah. There is no limit on God. There is no limit on him whatsoever. He is. There, you don't have to worry about who's gonna pay the rent. Ooh. Are you having a job? Are you getting healed? Are you are your children being all right? All these things are taken care of in Christ. Yeah. I want I want to give you this king. I want to present you to this king, this king. Ooh. I'm not nothing to be lost. I believe civil rights is great for the world system, but the kingdom of God is supersedes civil rights. Man, you know, so I, I mean, tree fitness is good in the world system. You can get great positions, but in the kingdom of God, you can literally get healed. Hey, it, hey, you look, see, it, 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 these are things that are realities for us. And look, I like brother asking the fact is that I'm, I'm trying to preach the gospel that fills you up. Amen, man. You know, because one thing about that limited water, was she got to draw again. The water he was given was spiritual never water. Again. He said, you're never, never thirst again. We're talking about somebody as far as anybody. The good news is I'm trying to take you to another level where you don't have to depend on your flesh, where you don't have to depend on your income. We don't have to depend you're, on your being accepted by people. I'm trying to get something that's good. You don't have to depend on your oppressors. <laughs> Another one. Well, she, go, go ahead. Go ahead. She, she understood that there was a relationship required 
to 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 be uh, associated with God. Okay. But it was external. It was it was physical. It was uh, it was a location. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But Jesus was ushering in a new covenant. And that it is within him, and that she needed it within herself. So, his living walk was the new source of her relationship with God to the point that he was letting her know that those that worship the Lord must not worship him by location and by deeds, but you must worship him in spirit and in truth. <laughs> yeah, I, I know we, we be at community help and we would always tell people, we got some resources for you. Well, yeah, there's some resources for you. You can go over here and get this, you can go over here and get this. But in the kingdom of God, we're hooking you up to the source. Unlimited. We're not hooking you up to the resource, we're hooking you up to the source. Yes, sir. You need food, we're gonna hook you up to the source of food. You need a, you need healing, we're gonna hook you up to the source of healing. And, and that is where I think we have up to this point fallen short because we've not sought the source of ourselves and we've not seen the demonstrated power. It's through the rest that we come to acknowledge who this man really is. But we get hooked up to the source. The 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 the, the, the wall was the veil was rent in twain. We stand face to face with God in the Holy Ghost. Yes, we are standing in the presence of the source. We were back in our relationship with him in the garden prior to the fall. That is the state that we have been brought into by the word of the Lord Jesus Christ in the world. Yes, sir. This is what we're offering people. This is the good news of the kingdom. It's the good news. And, and we, our system is better than any other system. There's no comparison to the between the kingdom of God and the kingdom of the world. Go ahead. Let me, let me, uh... I, I keep thinking about this text, man, and all kinds of things keep coming back. You, do you realize that this woman uh, needed the, uh, her need was the water, which is the reason why she came to the world? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it because she needs the external to herself. Now you agree. Uh huh. Yeah. That's a good word. Yeah. That's a good word. External to her. And Jesus told her, look at in the same way that you got to come to the get water, because you ain't got it in yourself. But I'm going to offer you something that you don't have in your system. That's what I'm talking about. God's got to give you something that is external to you. Yeah. But I'm going to give you is from above. Yes, sir. And, and bring you into a kingdom. And this, it, it works differently because once you get it, it becomes internal. It's still external to you, but it's internal to you now. Yes, sir. Because you're drawing from a source that is taking up residence inside of you. Now don't be fooled now. You ain't the source. You know, also, Bishop. Oh, go ahead. And go ahead. You never will be. So when you go preach the gospel, act like it. Woo! Don't yeah. act like, like you the source. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's good word. That's good word. That's what I'm talking about. You know, talking about. Yo. You know that 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 woman. Yo. Knew. She 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 knew the word. She Ooh. she 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 knew the word. Okay. And she even stated. You yeah. didn't read it, but she stated that they're waiting on a messiah yeah she stated that yeah and and jesus let her know that i am he but what was offered she 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 thirsted for the messiah because that's what they were waiting on Woo. she was thirsting for the messiah and jesus she was she was talking physical walk yes sir Jesus knew her heart and knew that these people thirsted for the Messiah, Come on, girl. the living one. You so, know, I like, I like, I like, I like that because Jesus actually, I mean, like, like Lee was saying earlier, he he knew exactly what her needs were and exactly yes. what to say based on what she was right for the pickings for. And yes. I like what Bishop said when he said earlier is that we don't do nothing. Because you know, oftentimes we're having a conversation with a person. We could be talking about last night's game or today's game and say something to them that resonates within their spirit and they're yes, moved sir. by the things of God because that's what God had prepared them to hear. Yes. Or it related yes, to something that had gone on in their life that we had no clue about and didn't even know nothing about. 
And so when we think we just gave out a nugget, or we think we really just eloquently so explained the gospel that they know you touched them, you ain't done nothing but yes. satisfied your own flesh. Yeah. Because you don't know that. You don't know that. But 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 like I say, you could be talking about something totally unrelated. Yes. And all of a sudden, lights go off in their head. That's revelation knowledge by the Holy Ghost for them. And you yes. don't even know that just took place. And that's why it's so significant what Lee said was that you ain't convincing nobody or persuading nobody or doing nothing. Yeah. Hopefully you're an instrument and yeah. you're doing of what you're saying to do and say, even if it sounds like it's off the wall or makes no sense, we can't reason it out because we don't know what they're prepared for and what he's doing. And that's why we just have to be obedient to what he's saying. Because oftentimes it's going to be contrary uh -huh. to what we would have thought would have been. Yeah. Been the yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, you know, it's That's funny, good word. You know, it's funny too is that you know she came to get water, uh, uh but first, uh, first twenty-eight, she, she left. She left the water. <laughs> <laughs> she left her water pot. <laughs> you know what? Because I like what Bishop said. I like what Bishop said. Was that? Was that? Was that? Was that? With the question he asked her, he made her recognize that she was lost he didn't tell her you lost yeah she came to that conclusion on her own yeah she said i'm lost because of what he asked her and see that's the difference with a lot of hebrew israelites and telling folks that uh i don't care what you got if you ain't got jesus you ain't got nothing well see now we're trying to tell them their position i like the fact that jesus in his eloquent way would allow them to come to that position on their own yes. and then they're open to be reached. Come on now. You know, and I also know the fact that she went and told it when she left the she well, she went to the they went out to the city, what happened, what she said it. The woman then left the water by went her way to the city and said to the man, come see a man, well look what he do, which told me all things that I ever did. Isn't here she was, here she was, untrained, had never been around Jesus. Eleven guys went in there that been with him for years, know all kind of doctrine, all kind of persuasion. They brought nobody back. She went in there off yeah. one conversation one and conversation. brought back the whole city. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she did. She believed. Well, <laughs> well, she was the conversation. <laughs> you know, God, God spoke to what he did to her. That, that was amazing. She she became the witness, and and and, and that was something. But, but she she never repeated word for word what what he told her. But he she just went her. and yeah. witnessed Woo! and okay. brought him back by the blood of the lamb and by the word of our testimony. Her testimony. Yeah. But you know, I, I look at sometimes when Lee, Lee is teaching and how excited he gets about the word. I remember the Bible study we had over there on Market Street. I mean, commercial stuff. We jump on top of the table. This guy's 67 years old. He bounces around the room like he do. Now that's a witness. <laughs> I hear a lot of people speak, but when you see that kind of enthusiasm when something happens to a person, there's something moving in them. You're yeah. like, what's wrong with this guy? And it's like then you begin to realize, man, something's moving on him. Something's causing him to act like that, and that becomes like one of that little yeah, man. That that's legit. You know. You know what? But the only thing I would say about that is that you say enthusiasm, I, 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 and I hear what you're saying, I know exactly what you're saying, but enthusiasm can be taught and mimicked. Yeah. That's passion. And passion, you can't mimic passion. You can't teach no, you passion. Can't. And no, that's can't. what touches. Yeah. In other words, yeah, you're right. spirit uh, is talking to spirit. Heart yeah. is talking to heart. I mean, it's the left of yeah. the heart. It's, it's, it's heart yeah. to heart. That's passion. And when you find somebody, I don't care if they wrong. Yeah. I used to often talk about this church down there in Lazella, Georgia. Uh, first Pentecostal, some Pentecostal church in Lazella, Georgia. It was started by that brother. I don't know who he was. He's dead now. And even though I didn't believe his doctrine, I would listen to him sometimes because I've never met a man that was more passionate about what he believed. Uh, I'm going to tell you something. You talk about somebody who was 100% sold out, and, and it wasn't what he was saying. It's just... He was absolutely 100% passionate, and that excited me, his passion. And that, that speaks volumes. Yeah.